Hey guys, Kristalina here, and today we are here for episode four of Overmodded. Like last episode, I don't really know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow. Oh, it looks like the girls are going on a walk. As you, uh, aww. As you may see, I have a little, some little friends here in my farm. Other than big guy, I don't know why he's in here. Okay, well, they're stuck. They aren't the smartest little guys. They're from the Straw Golem mod. Um, they only live for, like, a week. There's something you can do to make them live longer. Maybe give them a week. Yes. You do that. They're good. You can somehow give them sweaters. I don't remember how. Uh, they're adorable. And as you may have saw last episode, I got blown up and I was turned into the outro. Phoenix died. I got the name tag. Went and got a new... <laughs> A <laughs> new phoenix, who is a uh, giant. Okay, so now we have four conures. What are you doing, Broski? What the hell is wrong with you? No, you get out of here. You're not spinning my straw golems. Get out. You leave them alone. We've got the sheepies growing up. We'll have some new sheepies soon. I really like that girl. She's really pretty. Horses are doing good. Uh, I'm gonna have to expand their area and give them more space. Poor, poor brownie. Oh, poor brownie. And his son is gonna change too. So I think I'm gonna quickly name his son Contrast, as Hannah was wanting. My dog is glaring at me from the bed. Huh, Zola? Huh, Zola? Are you mad at me? Because they won't share my food. Broski, you're going to push my cockatrice down there. First things first, I would like to head up to the glowing... Uh, to the, not glowing. To this flower forest. Okay. I'm on a hunt. Things. Uh, do I have my boat? Yes, I do. I think that's all I need. So we're going to quickly do that. And then we'll figure out what else to do. Or we'll find something to do there. Okay, we are here. There's like really pretty flowers. So we're going to collect some flowers. Okay, so we got quite a lot of these. Oh, hold on to it for now. Um, didn't think about the fact that I don't have any where to put them. But... <laughs> Roski just looked at me and then disappeared. Kind of rude, Broski. Okay, so now that everything's kind of sorted and I got that all figured out, there's a sea serpent in here. Um, let's go kill that before it kills my pet. I actually don't know where that pet is. Here. <sighs> sea serpents. Broski. Wait. What the hell? Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah. There we go. So that sea serpent actually reminds me to the fact that I killed quite a few sea serpents off camera. Weird to think he came from all the way over there, but yeah, I killed quite a few off camera, so down, get my bed back. Okay, so as you can see in here, you may have saw this earlier. That's a lot of scales. <laughs> I kind of was on like a sea serpent killing spree. Um, I mean, these aren't sea serpent scales, obviously, but these are. Yeah, I was on a little bit of a spree. Um, they kept pissing me off, so, you know, death. 
first, so I think I kind of like changed my mind on exactly what I want to do with like where I live. So I know in like previous episodes I had been talking about like moving stuff, you know, all that, and I think I want to give this valley a try. You know, I do already live here, and it saved me a lot of moving time. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I need to expand my village and get more villagers. So we may have to do a steal. We may have to steal a little bit from other villages, but it's fine. They won't notice. So you may start noticing villagers popping up in between episodes. Don't worry, they didn't come out of nowhere. I just stole them. <laughs> Stop getting stuck! There you go. I did this so I didn't have to go and farm it myself. I'm lazy. It's okay. Um, she's easy to have baby soon. I really like that one. Uh, let's put these away. That was a chicken laying a rotten egg. I would like that egg. So. Like I was saying, you'll notice villagers popping up, but you may also notice houses popping up. I'll do my best to build houses on camera and such, or I'll just have little mini videos in between episodes of me building the houses. I don't know if I'll keep these houses, but I want to put my stuff all the way up there. So I want to... Karuna... I need to make a graveyard. Let's do that real quick. See what's needed. So it's a bone and cobblestone. A little bit of cobble. Okay, we are going to need to go get some more cobble. But I just want this in case my villagers start trying to die. Okay, we've got four for now. Let's put them here. So I think I want to put my house up here and just have like things going on. Oh, there's more horses! Is that my saddle? Ah, no, I need a new saddle. It's on the other animal. Oops. I think I have my leads, yeah. So iron, string, and leather. And the reason I'm able to jump down like that is when I was out exploring, I found some bunny hoppers. So when I get hit and it sounds like a bunny getting hurt, that's why. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for a while for, been waiting for a while for there to be new horses. Cause I don't really want to inbreed my horses. Okay, so there's a pinto, a dark one, a lighter one, and a Oh, there's one on this side of the mountain. Two on this side of the mountain. So you're a female. You're very pretty. And then the one down here, also a girl. The Pinto is a boy. Right? Yes. Okay, one down, four to go. These horses must have been here a while because none of, there's no foals. I like that girl. Oh, ooh, 16. I have this thing where I like to have the tallest horses possible. <laughs> um, on a personal world with two of my friends, Christy Cat and Ginger Chan, we had a server, and I think I got up to 19 hands through breeding. It took a very long time. Please don't take us off the mountain. So you want death. Got it. The other stallion went this way. You are... Tiny, think. I can't tell. I don't know if I want to keep them all. So I don't really care for that female. She can stay there. I do want 16 hands. No, so I want these three. Who's the fastest? You are. Okay, we've got them down here. So now we have new horses. I will make a proper stable eventually when I have the chance. Most likely off camera. We're going to be mining a lot of flowers when I do this so I can terraform a lot and make the land a little bit better for the houses. Like, I want to even to where this tree is uh, over here. 
so I can center houses around it and maybe a little market. I don't know. We'll see. But I think it'd be nice. I'd like to just expand the village. I'd like to expand it, get more villagers, have them get married, stuff like that. So I think what'll happen is I might just turn this into a big farm right at the base of the stairs and block it off so that they all don't climb up there and get stuck on the side of the mountain. And then eventually we can start exploring more of the sky islands or whatever. I'm getting sidetracked. I want there to be just a giant farm down here. And we'll get all my animals up there. And then I think, so this is gonna be similar to what Atlantis is doing currently in their videos um, with their new, I think it's season three of Ice and Fire. Where for Cinder, I think the name is, they dug out a giant hole in the side of the mountain. I would like to do that for a dragon when I get one and eventually explore this cave. And just like have them watching over and maybe we'll have little smaller holes in the other parts of the mountain with little paths connecting each so I can easily get to them and just have like little, little different like takeoff centers or takeoff areas throughout the entire mountain. I think over here we could have like two bigger roosts for like bigger dragons because I don't want all of my dragons to get to stage five most. I'm probably just going to want around stage three. Hopefully there's something that can mine this. I hate this thing. We'll have to see. If not, I'm going to cover it with dirt or something. I might keep the well. Turn these into ponds. I don't know. We'll see. Mine out the portal. Put it somewhere else. Maybe one of my dragons can guard the portal. I don't know. I actually have to find dragons for that. <laughs> so, I think let's head down here. Maybe we can beat, beat that up. So, let's here. Check things out. See if we can steal anyone. And we are going to use my pet. My new pet to get there. You were not supposed to walk all the way over here. I told you to lie down. But maybe the sea serpent was attacking you. I don't know. But yes, I have a hippocampus. That's why I ended up killing so many sea serpents. Because the sea serpent's like favorite food is a hippocampus. So they were like killing all of them and I couldn't tame one. So I was getting annoyed. So I just kept having to kill them and then waiting for the hippocampuses to spawn. I also killed a few sirens. But I didn't get any of their tears. So really, I just have to watch out for the sea serpents right now. Because they will come kill her. Or, yeah. I'm going to name her Ruby, but they will come kill her. I might name her Ruby. Unless one of you happens to have a better name suggestion. That's just what I was thinking of. Uh, take her up land. Stay there. Please. Okay, I'm do a little bit of looting and then I'll be back. Well, I got cheated. I got cheated. I got a kitty cat. You can help pretty. So let's go steal. See if there's anyone worth stealing. Jean Pierre. So let's steal him. <laughs> Josette is looking at the hippocampus. I wish I'd steal everyone. There's a man in a hole. <laughs> Why are you in a hole, sir? Hello. Why are you in a hole? Let's let you out. <laughs> Come on. I didn't think about this. Well, we're gonna do our best. Okay, we've got all three back now, and they can just wait until they have us. Yes. I think I think I wanna get these two married. That's not very nice. Because none of you have that trait now. Hi. Hey. Do you have the trait? Hi. Hi there. Hi there. Wait, what? 
<gasps> I may need to go fetch Josette. Okay, they are all set in. Frick you, kitty. They're all set in their little house. Uh, I need to go fetch Josette, Jean Pierre's wife, because I didn't. I was dumb. I didn't realize he was married. I'm probably gonna kill the dragon, the other ice dragon while I'm down there. Which means I need another bed. But first, I need to do a little bit of organizing in my inventory. Close this up out of my mess. So I'm gonna do that and then be right back. Okay, so my inventory is mostly. mostly all sorted out now. Update on monochromatic brownie. Contrast has not started showing the gray gene yet. When he does, I'll like point out how I notice. Because for me, they remind me of like a deer with like little spots or speckles or whatever of like the difference. It's just, it's really obvious to me the difference. So I'll have to point it out. Like my friends usually can't tell. Oh, it looks like the baby sheep had been born while we were gone. The way I can tell is the fact that. This was the only girl we had before with that pattern, and now we have another girl with a brown, brown version of that pattern. We're gonna quickly go that way. Take a boat this time. I didn't save any of the footage of me taking them back, but it took a while. It did not go very well. It was annoying. So we're gonna take a boat this time. What I think I'm gonna do with this village is because, we're gonna open the map real quick, is because it's so desolate and lonely and by itself over here i think what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm gonna just take all of the villagers mine down the village take the like resources and stuff and just relocate them to my village that way no one's really like lonely or left by themselves they're all together but they're in a more populated and exciting place if that makes sense, of course. <laughs> Obviously, everything will make more sense once it actually gets done. And taking, like, all the village resources, like this stuff, for example, will help me to where I don't have to, like, create or make as many beds or other things, for example. I mean, I don't know how much of this the spruce wood I would use. Okay, so we've got romaine, which is here got birth here you're a farmer have a potato thank you and then Josette whose husband I stole I'm gonna go ahead and quickly destroy all the houses and all of the resources and get all that and then we'll come back all right I am all done with deassembling the village I think I'm gonna go kill the ice dragon I'm gonna leave them here go kill that ice dragon cut through most of it because it's loud and annoying gotta get somewhere where the bed won't get destroyed See its tail. Wings? What? Uh. Oh, nope, there is a dragon to fight. I thought it. I may have gotten lucky and. Uh! It would be dead in there, but. Guess not! Dead! Got it! Yes! That was a little loud. Apologies. Okay, I killed the dragon. Let's go. Let's go get this big dragon skeleton. I, oh, I used like all of my arrows. Lovely. What are the odds? Get a frost lily and an ice dragon nest. Anyways, I will see you guys back at the village, the village I destroyed. <laughs> okay, so I have some bad news. I'm an idiot for one and... The other two died. They got murdered by zombies. So we're gonna quickly take <laughs> her back because I failed. I'm stupid. We're gonna quickly take her back so she doesn't die either. And Jean Pierre still has his wife. Whoa. What the frick was that? Oh. Well, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Alright, we are finally back. Let's, okay, got her out of the boat. Let's go take her to her husband. Are you trying to... Oh, I, what? Does that do not go down there? Oh! Oh, poor 
thing. You are now Hello. reunited with your husband. And you can stay in the box. What's going on? No one's dead, so everything must be fine, I guess. Okay, we are going to put all the food items, crops, in. Not that. In the chests out here? Because I have no room inside. Why do I hear a child? wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Houses need to get built quickly. <laughs> okay, well, I'm currently in the middle of <laughs> dealing with my backpack, but wow. Okay. Um <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. Hey, let's Why can't I pick you up? Because you're not my kid. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, we've got that all figured out. We've got the people. Killed a dragon. Got some horses. There was a child. I think that's going to be all for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was enjoyable. A little chaotic again but that's that's where the fun is okay so i'll see you guys next episode thanks for watching bye well i guess here's a little after clip um i'm an idiot and she's stuck on the horse <laughs>